What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to Bora. Let's play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we defeated Lieutenant Surge here, and well, not here anymore, back in Vermilion City. And in this episode, we are heading north on our way to Saffron City. Yes. Thankfully, they kind of reordered things in the Johto games, which I can totally respect. You don't play through Kanto the same way you did in the old games, so... We're, we're going to be going to Saffron next, even though that was the sixth gym in Kanto in the original games. Which is kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. I mean, I know that they're kind of rehashing an old area and just, you know, stripping down some of its elements. But you know what? I... I totally, I'm still okay with this design. I, I really like it. If they would have included the Sevi Islands in this as well, I would have probably, I don't know. Okay, that I don't want to go too TMI on this, but let's just say I would have been incredibly happy in an almost sexual way. Okay. Anyway, we just picked up TM62, which is Silverwind, which is the bug equivalent of Ancient Power, uh, base power of 60, and a 10% chance of uh, increasing all of your stats by one level if it hits and now we're getting into a double battle which should be pretty darn easy uh, I don't think Leo's gonna be able to go first anyway so I think I'm just gonna use Dark Pulse on whoever and Razor Leaf should knock the two down in two turns anyway not too difficult but, oh critical hit I guess I, I mean I can't complain about that at all that's the attacker of the two as well mine is more mine is a little bit more defensive oriented and charge which means that dark pulse is not gonna one shot unfortunately but whatever Cynthia deals out next should be more than enough and we're actually gonna be getting something I've been waiting for this whole let's play finally gonna freaking get it and I'm so excited for it uh, by the way, Minin has the ability minus, and then uh, Plus has the ability plus. So, for those of you who were worried, oh, don't attack with Rock Smash, he's got static. No, no, no. Uh, the, even though they look like Pikachu in almost every way, don't worry, they don't have static. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to be getting something that I have been waiting so long for, finally, in this video. Uh, one of the best TMs in the game, and it's going to turn Eve into... Probably our strongest team member. No, no, I would say yes. Is definitely our strongest team member. Um, uh, once they get it. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful with how I do this. Because I know what this Slaykov has. Oh, boy. Oh, it didn't use it. Thank goodness. Okay, Slaykov has counter. And that's what I was afraid of. Because if it used counter after that, it would have either one-shot me or knocked me pretty, down, pretty close to being dead. And I would have not been happy with that, but thank goodness we got lucky and just used Amnesia like an idiot instead, considering Cynthia is almost entirely physically oriented. Anyway, so we can't go that way because that guy is going to tell us there's a problem at the power plant. In fact, here's his dialogue. I'll just give it to you. Problem at the power plant is solved. I don't know what problem. We don't have, like, the news or anything, but there's a problem at the power plant, so we can't go that way. I guess. Is it because the lights are off or something? I'm not afraid of the dark. Gosh. Okay, well, regardless, let's head up into this house over here, and we're about to get the best TM, or one of the best TMs, in the entire game. Yes, I did want this very much. TM29, which contains Psychic. It may lower the target's special defense. That's all he has to say about it, but oh! Oh, you have no idea. You, oh no, you probably do, actually, if you're watching this video, but it's so much more than that. Base power of 90, it is the most powerful psychic move we have at our disposal in the entire game. The only more powerful psychic moves in the entire game are exclusive to legendary Pokemon. This is the strongest one that can be taught. We're going to get rid of Future Sight just because I want to keep Psybeam for that extra PP. And also just because I don't like Future Sight. I don't really like its utility. It's too inaccurate. I know it only says it's a 90% accuracy, but I feel like it's lower than that. Uh, that being said... We are now going to head this way. There is a giant feature in Saffron City that I'm sure some people would want me to check out, and that is actually this building over here, which is the Self Company. But, uh, well, actually, wait, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't skip by it because there is something in here I do want. Um, but we can't actually explore this place yet because of that power plant situation. However, this guy, he feels bad for us for wasting a trip, apparently. Um, and he gives us an upgrade, which is useful for uh, Porygon. It allows it to upgrade... Uh, 
evolve, it allows it to upgrade, yes, uh, when being traded while holding it. So that's a that's a good pickup right there. But um, as far as notable things go, here we have the magnet train line, which I'm pr I, I think is also out of service because of the power plant situation. Uh, we have the fighting dojo, which is up here, which is completely irrelevant at the moment because the master, he is actually out in Jota right now training, so we can't even go in. So we're just going to head on into the gym and we're going to put Leo out in front because he is going to be the best thing we have for the majority of this gym. And we're going to be taking out all the trainers. We're not going to be able to face the gym leader in this video. I can already promise you that. So yeah, Leo should get some awesome experience throughout the next uh, next several fights. However, there is going to be that occasional Bronzor, which is going to throw me off, speaking of the devil. Because of their darn steel typing. That's going to be a lot of fun. I thought I was going to be faster. Why did I not think that I was going to be slower? Bronzor is super slow. That was dumb of me. That was a critical? I mean, I guess I didn't go first, but whatever. I was using Hero Ball, which is the most uh, delicious ball that's ever been thrown my way. Assuming that this is uh, Greek cuisine. Skill, don't skill swap me, please. Uh, I don't want your skill. I want my skill. Uh, you jerk. All right, well, whatever. Dark Pulse will take this thing out. Uh, so yeah, note to self: just use Dark Pulse on these things for the chance of flinch. I guess. Uh, no point in using Payback. All right, and a Hypno. Now, we are definitely going to be slower than this guy, so one payback should be able to take this thing out. I think we're going to also see... Uh... Oh, wow, we are faster. Really? I thought Hypno was going to for sure be faster than us. Well, dang it. Okay. Ah, frick. All right, well, let's just hope that this doesn't hit, because if it... Uh, or we don't hit ourselves, because if we don't hit ourselves, this payback should take it down. But there's always the possibility of... Yep, there it is. Okay. Okay, well, we're skill swapping again. So now I have Forewarn, which I don't even think is going to take effect anyway. Oh, it did. Okay, Psybeam. Oh, no. So, so worrisome uh, against our Umbreon that it can totally hurt. And down goes Hypno. Good experience for that, though, at least. I should put Leo... Well, I don't know, actually know how much experience it's going to get. 1590. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Two more of those and we'll get a level up. And on to the next area, which I actually think that was the way back to the beginning. Yes, it was. Why did I do that? All right. Going up this time. And I used to have the pattern memorized for this gym, although I don't know if they changed it um, in this game, so I'm not even going to try it. But I used... I still kind of have the pattern memorized for how, how to get straight to the gym leader. That involves f not fighting any trainers either. Um, but again, I, I want experience more than anything because we're already kind of underleveled as it is. Uh, this Mr. Mime should definitely be faster. Right? Okay. There. Uh, of course it used Reflect. Awesome. Okay, so Payback's just going to deal normal damage now. Just going to hope that in the next turn it doesn't use Light Screen. Oh, that wasn't so bad actually. You know what? Let's just do that again. Stop skill swapping! Oh my gosh. That is so annoying. <laughs> I hate skill swap. Ugh. It's just frustrating. And now I'm going to lose Synchronize because it's Mr. Mime took it with it. Fantastic. I mean, I could always just switch out and save myself the trouble, but... Execute? You know what? Let's do that then. I don't want to give Nanani too much experience because she's already kind of souped up as it is but you know what whatever i want synchronize back let's just use an icy wind and take this thing out in one shot pretty simple and if i'm not mistaken skill swap is the tm we are going to be getting in this gym so yeah which i'm totally not going to teach to anyone anyway eve's the only one who can learn it and why would i want to get rid of synchronize 95 percent of the time all right another execute let's switch back to brie and Bree can take this thing down. Now I can't now I can't imagine that execute is faster. So Dark Pulse should be fine. Yeah, man, we're already getting running low on that payback PP. Great. Might have to leave this place and heal. After I fought all the trainers in here. Alright. Level 44 for Leo. Awesome. 
And Psychic Jared has been defeated. On to the next fight. I believe there's actually three more in this gym. So let's go this way. I am very good at going back exactly where I came from. What the heck? I'm so bad at remembering this stuff. Gosh dang it. Okay, here we go. Yes, there are. there's two more trainers in this gym. There's up on the top left and then the very top center. And then, well, and then, of course, there's Serena herself. Franklin! Oh, boy, Kadabra. Okay. I can't imagine this thing's going to have Reflect. Disable! Okay, good. Glad that doesn't do anything, because I haven't attacked yet. Please one-shot it. I would be so happy if you one-shot it. Yes! Yes! Those frail defenses. Thank you. Good experience. All right, and Giraffe Array, which is also going to probably be faster, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot more resilient than Kadabra is. Oh, double hit. Is that a fighting move? I can't remember. It is not. Okay. Well, I suppose I'm okay with that then. Oh, 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 oh! That critical, though! Leo, man, you are just doing awesome right now. I mean, to be fair, I would say of all of our team members, Leo has been the most consistent throughout this entire playthrough. I don't want to go out and praise him too much, lest he screw me. But, uh, I mean, I, I gotta say, he's been kind of on fire. It's, it's been pretty awesome. All right, well, now let's move up to this one. Nope, I don't want to be at that one. All right, uh... So I just got to work my way up to this, those top two. Actually, is there not one in the top center anymore? It looks like there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, there's just one on the top left then. I know there was in the Kanto games. And gosh, Sabrina, she is at her throne. Look at that freaking chair. That is intense, man. All right. I see it clearly. I can see into your spirit. Oh, whoa. Okay. You are really something, aren't you? See, what's with all these mediums not having ghost types, though? I mean, you'd think they... Well, no, I guess, no, Psychic Pit makes sense. Uh, Dark Pulse. Because Slowpoke is, well, <laughs> slow. Bet you never would have guessed that. Oh, oh, nice! The one shot. Oh, I love to see that. And then a Slow Bro, which is, again, still slow. He's just a, more of a bro, though, than Slowpoke is. I mean, look at that. Is that not somebody you'd want to bro fist? Just look at how cool he is. I mean, derp face aside. Come on. Oh, don't yawn. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to kill you before it gets me anyway. And there we go. Slow bro down. It should put us super close to level 45. It, it might put us at level 45, but I doubt it. Uh, well, no, it did. Okay. I didn't think it was going to give me that much experience. But it did. Sweet. So Medium Darcy lost. And now it's on to Sabrina. And you know what? I haven't used Payback pay pay all that much. So I think I'm actually going to be fine in just going right ahead and challenging Sabrina. I, that was not the right way to go. Shoot. Um, actually, I think the way to Sabrina is from the bottom left, if I'm not mistaken. So let's, let's try it. Is it this one? It is not. Hmm. I think I might be just a tad bit lost in here. I know there's no access from that one. Let's see. Go to this one. Uh, no, no, no. It's not that one. I think it was actually straight down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Again, we're not going to actually fight Sabrina in this one, but I got this. Don't worry. Uh, try this one out. No, wait. That takes me back to the beginning, right? Um. Bottom one? Don't. Okay. Turning off the running shoes. They're throwing me off. There we go. And then. Yeah, see, I don't think there is any access to it from this one. I am getting so lost. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. It's just process of elimination at this point. Uh, I'm gonna go back. You know what? 
I'm, I'm wondering if I should just cut there, but I kind of want to show which one takes you to it, though, at least. You know, I can do that. You know, I'm just going to cut when I get there. And literally two seconds later, I found it. Okay, so yeah, top left and then the bottom left uh, one right here. This gets you right to Sabrina. There she is sitting at her throne. We're going to take her on in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.